Long Island residents are scrambling to prepare and get back home before the snow starts piling up. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff joins us live from Comac with more. Carolyn. Mary and Chris, good afternoon. Who could forget it was almost two years ago that Suffolk County was slammed with that storm that dumped nearly three feet of snow on the county. And officials today are saying that it could be a very similar type of storm. But this time they say, thankfully, there is more advanced uh, notice and also more technology. We are once again faced with another extreme weather event that is described as potentially historic and unprecedented. By all measures, Long Island expects an historic snowfall. In an effort to avoid the mass stranding of cars we saw back in 2013, the governor warns he may order the LIE closed. That's why folks like Bob McDonald were out early today stocking up and getting off the roads, and staying home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and you've got a lot of gasoline here. A lot of gasoline. That's for the generator, basically. And I have some for the uh, snow blowers. As an army of salt spreaders and plows fan out to tackle what could be several inches of snow falling per hour. Officials say they are more prepared than 2013 with more sand, more snow removal equipment, and more GPS tracking of equipment to deploy smarter and with more lead time to warn the public.